Savoring a nice warm cup of tea is a wonderful way for me to relax after a long tiring day. Hi, I'm Diana Yusuf and in the next half hour, I will show you how sipping tea has evolved from something you normally do casually into what is now an elegant concept of lifestyle. Marketing of tea too has come of age and to achieve the desired objective, multi-layered strategy and strategic investment are some of the common phrases we hear. However, the essence of drinking tea has always been associated with healthy living. It is believed to have medicinal properties such as antioxidants which prevent life-threatening illnesses like cancer and heart disease. Roy Bos Tea of South Africa is renowned for its health properties. RBT, a fusion tea house in the city, on the other hand, has embarked aggressively to get more people to drink tea as a lifestyle choice. And here is the story. If a healthy drink is your preference, then maybe you've already tried the Roy Bos Tea. But if you've yet to learn about the drink, then maybe the best place to start is at Dr. Noitier's Roy Bos Museum. This is not only a good place to experience the South African beverage, it is also a great place to experience a tiny piece of South Africa here in Shalam. Hi, Diana. Welcome to Dr. Nortier's Royal Boss Museum. Hello. Please come in. Thank you. The most popular South African icon greets you here, former President Nelson Mandela. Visitors to the museum can explore, pictorially, the discovery of rooibos tea by Dr. Nortier, the museum's namesake. You can't help but feel transported to the dark continent as you lay your eyes on every carefully set decor in the museum floor. The best thing about the visit is the chance to sample this unique tea. How do you like the tea? Mm, it's, got, it's got a very grainy taste. Yeah. It's nice, it's yeah, nice. It's good. It's good. So, Mr. Wong. Yeah. Rybos has been around in Malaysia for about, what, five years now? Yeah. And uh, it's obviously gotten a lot of attention and the popularity has obviously grown. Yeah. But what are you doing to raise that popularity in this country? Well, here I think you can see there's a museum. Okay, yes. and it's open to public for free. So uh, this is our one of our project, and it's a community project. So we highlight uh, Roy Boss industry and also the tea. So from here you can see the history of Roy Boss, the plantation, you know, the processing process, and the benefit of the tea inside here. Medical experts are called upon to confirm the health benefits of rooibos tea, which is a crucial element in its marketing strategy. The drink is popular amongst the Chinese and Japanese who take their tea unsweetened. For the rest, instead of using sugar, honey is a natural and healthy alternative. There is more to the museum than rooibos tea. The museum also hosts a permanent exhibition on Cape Malays, shipped as slaves to the southernmost parts of South Africa in as early as the 17th century. This is a common thread that draws the attention of visitors. But the focus is still on the rooibos tea, which comes from a unique plant that looks nothing like those lining our highlands. Rooibos tea is a precious and rare commodity of South Africa, grown in Cedarburg in the region of Cape of Good Hope. The tea is pre-packed before being shipped abroad to conserve its quality and then packed again in individual boxes upon arrival at its destination like Malaysia. It might cost you a little bit more but it's definitely worth it. After all, where else can you get a taste of South Africa in just a cup or two? Roybos Tea and RBT each offer different experiences but all work on the same principle of comprehensive marketing to achieve success.